So we're taking a bus right now to get on our plane. And where are we going, babe? We're going to Gdansk. 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 Close enough. Okay. <laughs> Gdańsk is a seaside town on the north side of Poland, with one main channel running through it. There's tons to see and do here, but we only had a few days. After taking in the sights of the river for a bit, we decided to walk around and take in the sights of the rest of the city. This was a nice way to see the whole city, and it only cost us about 15 bucks. Please let's not move. We're just gonna sit here. We're not moving to the other side. So right now, oh god, I feel nauseous. We're in a Ferris wheel. And dice. And, and I'm now just discovering how nauseous she gets on these things. My god, I'm around this for 15 minutes, dude. <laughs> I made the wrong decision. I f***ed up. But it's really pretty out, at least check it out. You can only see the doors. You are not going to throw up on this Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I need you to get it together. No. Oh my god. Oh, it's really pretty, at least. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, God. That's good. Oh, that's so good. Nice. <laughs> I probably need to tell all over my teeth. <laughs> it's very easy to get lost in some of these windy streets, but we were able to find our way pretty easily. A lot of the architecture here actually reminded us of Amsterdam with all of the skinny houses, so it was pretty cool. This seaside town is a much different vibe than Krakow. Hey guys, Nick coming at you from the Museum of the Second World War in Gdansk, Poland. Um, seemed like a pretty unique experience to hear. It's just going to be me and you today, but uh, yeah, let's see what the museum has to offer. Let's check it out. While I was touring the World War II Museum, I learned that Gdansk was essentially where it started. There's a ton of memorabilia here and you can really spend an entire day wandering around inside. They even have a cool shop and a cafe at the end as well. 
So after about three hours in the museum, I can say with a fair amount of confidence uh, that was a very educational experience. Highly recommend if you happen to be in a Danks. Uh, I believe the tickets were only 25 zlote at the time of this filming. It's probably like five bucks American. Um, I was literally there for three hours and I was going through all the exhibits and it was, like I said, super educational. They have a ton of stuff there. Um, if you're into World War II or World War II history, highly recommend this museum in Gdansk, for sure. The last few days here wasn't so good weather-wise, so we didn't get to see everything that we wanted to. We'd love to return in the future, but for now, we're off to Warsaw. So we finally made it to Warsaw. Woo! Um, and tonight we are going on a little date night. We're gonna go get a bunch of food. So stay Do you tuned. Where we're going? It's called. Uh, some, You'll see in a second. Some, oh my God. I forgot what it is, but we'll bring it. Back. <laughs> Why are you excited to eat here? Well, first of all, well, first of all where are we? <laughs> We're at this restaurant called In Asia, and i um, kind of f***ed up and I made the wrong reservation and we were supposed to eat a nine-course dinner. Um, but that's not happening, but that's fine because we're just going to make a nine-course dinner ourselves and just like, all out right now, so cheers to that, babe. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. This? Yeah. It's like a grilled salmon salad with grilled pineapples and some other shit I don't remember. And then we have tuna and salmon sashimi. And then she said the beef star fire is going to be out in just a second. So. Suck. How's your salad? It's probably the best salad I've ever eaten in my life. In your life? In my life, yeah. Cause it's got like, it's got pomelos in it, it's got pineapple, it's got seaweed in it, cucumber, edamame, pomegranates, it's like really light and fresh. Yeah. It's just shit slaps. <clears throat> what do we got next? Beef tartar. Okay, cool. <laughs> Take a chip and yeah. let it rip. Yeah, beef tartar. Oh, okay. Is it good? This is fire tartar. Is it better than the CCR one? Yes. Leagues. I need to try this. Leagues better than what do we have here? This is our main course. This is the crispy duck. This looks delicious. Yes. And then we have the shrimp and curry. And we have my handsome husband. This looks so good. I'm very excited. Okay, what do we say before we eat? Smachnego. How's it taste? Yeah? That's the good stuff. Bob, that's good. Hi. Right. I told you. Yo. Kachka? Yes, Dobshi. Smash them. No, it's good. Eh, no, I'll give it to you. Okay, fine. Kachka, you smash them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's eat. Oh, is that? Yeah. That's it? Okay. Just, just once? I don't know. I've never had this before. Uh, oh, God. You, oh, Jesus. Should I just, like, scoop it? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's, that's boule. You don't like it, do you? <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the texture. <laughs> I fucking no. knew it. Not a huge fan of that. Let me try one more. Yeah. Can I try some? Yeah, yeah. Let me try one more. Ooh. Oh, God. I can't take you anywhere. Okay. Fancy. 
You try. Mm. And the coconut flavor. Oh yeah. They're much not good. Yeah, just not a fan. Nick's got a weird thing with textures. I should have known, but there you go. You've had brulee now. You know you don't like it. But this is really good. How would you rate our dining experience overall? Out of what? Ten. Nine and a half only because I didn't get to sit over there at the weird seat table. <laughs> I was ready to throw down. Nine and a half out of ten. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I'd say, yeah, I'd say a solid nine. Nine and a half as well. I want to um, bathe in the beef tartare mm -hmm. and the tuna sashimi mm -hmm. and bury me with the duck. Got it. And then I could probably take a bath in this too. Okay. Noted for all of our followers. That's good. That's good. <laughs> And we're in the main square, which is much smaller than the one that you guys all saw in Krakow, but here it is. It's kind of a moment with fish eye. No. <laughs> Warszawa has a bit smaller of an old town area, but that doesn't make it any less beautiful than the ones that we've seen. This way? Okay, got it. Okay, this is the main castle in Warsaw. It's pretty impressive. We're on the inside. We're on the inside. I think I would live in a place like this if I was living here. Super cash. You know, it's like only two bedrooms, maybe about 600 bathrooms. How many square meters? A million. <laughs> a million square meters. Uh, yeah, I think I can move here. Yeah. Let's move in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe because next week we'll be in Budapest. See you later.